and my name is Oliver Fairclough and I'm the electronic support engineer on Daniel Ricardo's car. My main responsibility is to ensure the correct electrical configuration of the car. We do have to look at performance and trying to ensure that we can give the best quality data to uh, engineering departments throughout the company but ultimately as systems engineers uh, looking at the electronics and the on-car systems it's about reliability. At the Italian Grand Prix it's usually the circuit characteristics that can have a bearing on our workload during the event. It's a high speed track, the long straights and the circuit configuration tend to mean that we can struggle with brake temperatures so monitoring those is quite important. And the other thing is the long straights give us the opportunity to run perhaps more aerodynamic sensors than we would otherwise run. We can learn more about the aerodynamic performance so then there's an electronics department that means more sensors to fit to the car. I think the, the success of the team is down to the people in the team. Well, we can put together a good car, sure, but without you know, good designers to give us something to work with, without good engineers to operate the car properly at the track, and without good mechanics to build it, we're always going to be struggling. So no, definitely, I think this team is very fortunate to have good, good people working at it. I walk around every day with a smile. People ask why I always look so happy. And I say, doesn't driving make you happy? The only time the smile goes away is when the helmet is on. Honey, 
A blonde in a convertible? Seriously? Built for families, designed for drivers. The QX60 from Infinity. Modern families, they're rewriting the rules in a premium SUV that is reshaping versatility. With the Infiniti QX60, dynamic lines create a bold presence and signature design cues accent every surface. Infinity Performance Engineering Academy is a partnership between Infinity and Infinity Red Bull Racing. We're looking for five talented engineers from around the world. 
The winners will get to work for eight months at Infinity Red Bull Racing and four months at Infinity Road Car. There's going to be more time there to utilize your skills and provide some crossover between the two companies. We visited five different regions and the caliber of the candidates has been extremely high. The benefit of having all different types of cultures collaborate means that you have people looking at the same problem from many different angles. The best students have come from the best universities to take on the challenge that we've set them. First task was the psychometric exam. We worked together and built a building plan and a layout for an existing company. The second one was a pipeline, which was a difficult challenge. Basically making water travel from one end to another of a set of tubes. We had to use as many of these tubes as possible. We set the candidates a design exam. We're trying to assess their knowledge of engineering fundamentals, how they think and how they approach engineering problems. After that we have a roller coaster activity where all candidates were split uh, to uh, two teams to construct a roller coaster. What we do, whether it's road engineering or Formula One engineering, you need to think outside the box. You need to have that creativity to overcome a problem. Hey, well done. We now have our five winners. They've got a fantastic opportunity to go in for a full year, work with like the best, the most cutting edge technology. It's going to be absolutely fantastic for me. As an engineer, I can benefit a lot from working in Formula One and Infinity. It can help me become a really top level engineer because I can have a really good practice in Formula One and road car. I think all of us are just winners coming here and having this really good experience with the team. The next stage for the winners of this competition is to join us at the induction day. This will be their first opportunity to get a taste of the challenge that lies ahead. It's the chance of a lifetime for most of us. It's what we want to do for the rest of our lives. What happens when 10 of the best chefs in the nation get together for an amazing cause? Well, check this out. All right, so my name is Byron Talbot, and over the next several weeks, I'll have the distinct privilege of talking with several of these acclaimed chefs, and they're gonna share their passion behind Red and how their love for hospitality can help 86 AIDS. Infinity is the presenting sponsor and partnering with Red Organization to help raise money to end AIDS and at the same time provide unique culinary experiences across the country. Food culture and car culture go hand in hand, and this was an ideal way to bring the two together and raise money for such an important cause. So all that you have to do is sit back, relax, enjoy the music, the food, the stories, and help fight the good fight against this terrible but very treatable disease. Stay tuned, and I'll see you guys soon. Daniel Ricardo here. Today I'm going to put to the test the Infiniti Q50 Petrol and the Infiniti Q50 Hybrid. I know Infiniti's put a lot of emphasis on their hybrid, worked a lot on the acceleration and we're going to find out the real result. I think the petrol's very stable across the fast stuff from the front end. Pretty smooth in our last corner really dips in. I'm interested to see how the hybrid goes against this. The acceleration on the Q50 hybrid is impressive. Definitely you can drive the car a lot more with the rear. You can really use that extra power to your advantage. Really get a nice slide through the high speed corners. Really having some fun with this. I've just tested both the Q50 Petrol and the Q50 Hybrid. I think Infinity's put a lot of emphasis on the direct throttle response. As soon as I cracked the throttle, it was immediate. I'm really impressed with the way this car's developed.
you belong in the city? Or do you avoid it? Truth is, if you need to run from the city, you were never built for it. It takes a certain type to thrive here. One equipped with the quick responses and heightened visibility the streets require. With traction available at all wheels to keep the pace. It's as dynamic and distinctive as you are. Introducing the Infiniti QX30 concept. I'm Daniel Ricardo, professional Formula One driver for Infinity Red Bull Racing. But today I am employee of the month. Hey Sam, how are you? Monsieur Leblanc. Ça va bien? Oui. Ben oui, ça va bien. He's on a training with us, okay? Okay. Dan, if you want to join us, would you like a Red Bull or a coffee? All right. Red Bull? Red would you get us a Red Bull, please? Thanks. The new Q50 hybrid it is a 360 horsepower vehicle, okay? It's more than an S4 from Audi and more than a 335i from BMW. Thank you, Dan. Thank you. Oh, did you say coffee or Red Bull? I couldn't remember. It's okay. Yeah. I'll have a coffee, absolutely. Okay. Thanks. No problem. Thanks. The tire of the is different. You have the stitching that is different. Oh, are you okay, Dan? Okay. Okay. Sorry, sorry, guys. Yeah. You have the same system in touch that you will find in the vehicle that we looked at. If you talk also to the rear, it's surely the economy of gas that we're going to be in the front row. So, very performant. It's a good vehicle. Yes. Which one did you want? The clear one. The clear one. Yeah. Okay. Just fit, please. Okay. Oh, sorry. This guy. It seems that it's. No, it's more high than the other. Right. 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 This is what I have in Europe as well, in Monaco. Well, <laughs> you guys got me. Who do we think we are to consider the driver more important than the car? To pursue a vision that captures the sports coupe. A vision that transmits the driver's intention to the wheels, connecting man and machine as one. A vision driving us to power it with a new engine family and to handle that power at every turn. A vision for design that demands attention, aggressive and progressive, inside and out. So who do we think we are? A company that believes that the best car in the world is not a car. It's you, inside an Infiniti. Introducing the Infiniti Q60 concept.
It takes more than sleek lines and aggressive styling to attract some drivers. The 2015 Q50 from Infiniti. Our brand is really about artistry, power, and elegance. So all these aspects really made for a real lovely canvas to, uh, to start on. So we wanted to make sure that uh, when the person is in the car, they, they feel completely connected to the environment. We have sought inspiration from nature. And nature means that as things are about to do something, there is a tension between the muscles that are relaxed and muscles that start to, to, to condense and about to leap. And this actually creates a quite a beautiful uh, sculpture. So what you see in all of the cars, and Q30 does it quite, quite nicely, is this sense of the fenders are tight, but the body opens up and you get this movement of, of muscle. The Q30 interior was also quite fun to work on because again, uh, it's very compact, it's a dense package. So uh, the, when the designer started to play with asymmetry more horizontally, that was quite cool because uh, you had created this spiraling sculpture that moved side to side, feels wide. The exterior also, you, you can feel the hand of the artist in the metal. So we really wanted the, the hand of the artist felt in the interior coach work as well. We have been working very close with our engineering group and manufacturing about body stamping. And uh, what we have asked for and they delivered is an exceptional sharpness, but also an exceptional depth of body panel. And this kind of sharpness and depth creates a fluidity of reflection, which is quite nice. And uh, so working then with color is, you know, how do we accentuate this aspect that the engineers and production guys have given us. So we started looking at metal as it starts to cool down, where some of the minerals are still floating. And you get this sense of movement in the, in the alloy. And so with copper, almost in its solid state, this movement and flow was what we really wanted to capture uh, with that. And uh, outside, that's a spectacular color. Q30 production is probably 97% of the Q30 concept. This kind of uh, active compact or this kind of com commanding coupe, race coupe silhouette is, is quite striking. It's kind of like a shooting brake that's been elevated. And uh, it gives it a very unique posture, a unique uh, signature in the marketplace. Technology. Ever wonder who's in command? In an Infiniti Q50, there's no question. You are in the driver's seat for a reason. Let technology empower you. Let the intelligent key tailor your environment to you, regardless of who last drove. In an Infiniti Q50, you have the heightened ability to sense beyond what you can see. With blind spot intervention, that helps you detect cars in your blind spot and steer you back into your lane. Looking forward, with predictive forward collision warning, you can predict the future. A world's first technology, it is able to look two cars ahead and help you anticipate a collision in front of the car you're following. Technology in the Q50 is not just about avoiding. It is also about acting faster than anyone imagined. With Infinity's Direct Response Hybrid, you redefine efficiency as power. It's the most powerful hybrid in its segment, yet you can cruise at highway speeds in pure electric mode. Your steering, 
it responds at electronic speed as well. Thanks to Direct Adaptive Steering, the world's first digital steering system, it feels like you can carve a perfect turn. Steer quicker and smoother than you ever thought possible and experience the curve you've always wanted. While active lane control tracks lane markings and helps you steer straight down your lane effortlessly. What you drive should change the way you look at the world. And the Around View monitor gives a new perspective on what's around you. Four cameras and one virtual 360 degree view elevates your parking expertise while empowering you to move in new directions. When you're driving a car that has a 328 horsepower engine, you might want some things like direct adaptive steering and adaptive shift control for more precision. You'll also want a closed off dam with pylons and a helicopter to film all your epic moves. Handle the Q50 at your local Infinity retailer.
The first time I put them on, I could feel the difference immediately. And until then, skis were mostly straight, and if you wanted to go fast, they had to be long. So you had to be an expert to carve a turn. And then a genius invented parabolic skis. They had a revolutionary shape, like an hourglass. Shorter, wider, curvier. Suddenly everyone could carve a perfect turn. That's what direct adaptive steering feels like. I get in, turn the steering wheel, and it feels like I can slice around the curves. My steering is digitally processed, making a thousand adjustments a second, so I get the response I want. I've never felt a car handle like this. The system helps filter out unwanted vibrations from the road. I barely sense an annoying bump or a jolt. Every movement is smooth. Think skiing on fresh snow. Direct adaptive steering. It's like being an expert at every turn. I'm Wayne Cunningham I'm here at the Frankfurt Auto Show where Infinity has unveiled the all new Q30, a luxury compact patchback with very strong styling. With the Q30, Infinity is betting that upscale urban dwellers will want a luxury compact hatchback. The Q30 shows very distinctive organic lines, giving it a style that stands out. But as a hatchback, it also has a practical element. To emphasize luxury, Infinity gives the Q30 a multi-link rear suspension, which should give it good handling and comfortable ride quality. Active noise canceling will enhance passenger comfort. In Europe, Infiniti will offer the Q30 with a variety of engines, both diesel and gasoline. But in the US, we'll get a single engine, a two liter turbocharged gasoline engine producing 208 horsepower. The Q30 goes on sale later this year. It certainly looks like an interesting car and I can't wait to drive it. Drive into summer with exceptional...
vor dir spaziert da. Das sind keine Hotlaps von ihm, das sind Warplaps. Ha? Come on. <laughs> that, that was a hot lap. Yeah, David Coulter is going to take me on a spin, and I've been dreaming about this since I was a little kid. You're used to being in control. You know, you're a helicopter pilot, all of the amazing things you've done. You've always been in the position of saying, right, now I go, now I don't go. It's so, not going to happen today? Well, when you're sitting in there, you're going to be like this. So maybe you can reach over and tap me on the helmet. But I don't have a steering wheel. Not today, no. Okay. Phone booth on Willow. Yeah, I know it. Five minutes. nothing here. I'm just making sure you do what you're told. You can see me? The wall. Look at the wall. You vague minutes.
I got something for you. You have the clue. Booth on Willow. Yeah, I know it. Five minutes. I'm sorry about this. I really am. And believe me, I don't have a choice. They've got something of mine and I need it back. Think of it this way, Scott. I'm borrowing your money for a little while and I'll tell you where to find it when I'm done. It might take you a while. I'm keeping the car. You owe me. Right in time. Give it to me. It was no good to you anyway. We must do business again. Not in this lifetime. Hey. Nice car. If only you knew. First ever Infinity Q30 is a segment spanning premium active compact. 